welcome to Burning and Learning Kitchen. As you can see, I am dressed for success. Um, actually, it's early. I'm going to show you guys breakfast. Um, most important meal of the day. I'm really big in my house on breakfast. If other kids come to my house and they don't have breakfast, they get to eat here. But first, for all my friends that love my chai latte, I'm going to show you how hard it is for me to make you my chai latte. We have a cup, ice. Some chai latte mix, shake it up a bit. Another cup. Yes, another cup. That's very important. If you like it strong, put in a lot. If you don't like it strong, don't put in that much. And a milk jug that uh, is very tough to open. Then milk. Okay. Now this is the tricky part, okay? We're gonna come to the sink and we mix. Thank you. Hey, my girl just stole my chai latte. All right. Who's that? This is my green haired son, Ethan. This is what happens to your second born after you dye their hair blue. But today's show, we're going to be making cheesy ricey eggs. We're going to have a little bit of sauteed onions in there. And it's a great, easy, fast five minute breakfast. Okay, your ingredients for the cheesy ricey eggs. And if you're lactose intolerant, you don't have to use cheese. You can use soy cheese, goat cheese. There's a whole bunch of different cheeses. I have, we're going to do a total of eight eggs. When you have kids helping, have them do the eggs in a separate bowl. While he's doing the eggs, I am going to get the turkey bacon started. A really easy way for turkey bacon in the morning is I cut it in half with kitchen shears. Or any bacon. Yeah, any bacon. We like the turkey bacon. And I just place it on the sheet and we're going to put it in the oven on bake. And you can put it up high because it can cook fast. It's fine. If you're using regular baking, you got to watch out for the grease. Okay? While I'm doing this, son, you can get going on the eggs over there. And for people who are lactose intolerant, a lot of times when you eat out at restaurants, the eggs are instant. Keep it on the eggs. <laughs> um, and they add milk to scrambled eggs. So, when it's a powdered mix or they're adding milk to let their eggs go further, this is why you may have the problem of not liking eggs. Okay, we're gonna put those eggs in with the other and we're gonna whisk them up. Can you use any mix? Or a whisk. Okay, you know, get me. All right. I'm doing it on 200 degrees Celsius here, and I have the on the the confectioner oven, and I'm just putting in the bacon. All right, we got the bacon cooking. We're gonna get the rice going. I'm gonna put my one cup of minute rice with one cup of water. Six eggs or more, you use a whole cup of rice. Now we're going to add a little bit of onions this morning to our eggs. Great vitamin C. If you can't have onions and you can't eat rice, go ahead and use beans. Black beans are awesome with eggs. Now I'm just dicing these up. I'm not going to use a full amount. Got a little bit too much here. You want to use maybe like a tablespoon or two when you have eggs. You don't want to overpower. All right. Now we're going to get this sauteing in the pan. All right. I'm getting my hand, my pan, my hand, my pan heated up. I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil in there. We're gonna put in some onions here. You can also add mushrooms, green peppers, ham, anything you like. Alrighty. Water is done. The pan is not on yet. We're gonna do one cup of water to one cup of rice. Turn it on in the back. You can hear the onions tan. Oh, they are smelling good. Why that's cooking, we're gonna get the eggs. You really want your eggs mixed together well. You can see. And again, this is straight eggs. No milk, nothing at all, just plain old eggs. You can do egg whites if you'd like. All right, you can see they're sizzling really good. I 
got that nice and high. Oh, they're strong. Good thing I didn't use a lot. Check on my rice here. Mix it all up. Whoop. Now the rice doesn't need to cook for long because my water is already hot. I'm going to mix my eggs. I'm going to mix my eggs right as they go in the pan. Give them a little extra fluff. So you can hear them sizzle as they go in. Mm -mm. And this is good for any time of day. You got your protein, you got some grains in there, you got some calcium with the cheese. If you can eat cheese, if not, use a lactose. You can add pepper, salt, like I said, you can add all kinds of stuff to these cheesy rice eggs. Oh, we got the rice boiling over. We're gonna turn the water, or the water. We're going to turn it down back here and just put the lid on and let it steam. Get the eggs down. And you can see eggs aren't even sticking to the pan. And you want to stir them because I have it on high because in the morning when I'm making breakfast, things are crazy in my house. I'm going to try to start recording breakfast in the morning at Sue's with the kids showing you that you can make a healthy breakfast for your family before you go to work and it doesn't take much time at all or even for yourself because you have to how can I explain this when it's been proven breakfast is very 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 important it gets your brain going it gets your metabolism going for all the people out there who like to diet um, or don't like to diet but you're always on a diet um, when you don't eat breakfast, you gain more weight. Um, it's proven. And for those people that, they, oh, I can't eat breakfast, make it, wake up, drink some coffee, then have it. You don't have to have a whole plate of food for breakfast. You can just take a couple bites of eggs. You can cook one egg. It's like two tablespoons. And eat that. I mean, you need food in the morning. Alrighty. We have the eggs done. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Come over here. The rice needs to cook just a few more minutes. And check the bacon. Ooh, look at that. Now, since my eggs are done, I'm gonna put this up on broil because it's just turkey bacon. So it's not gonna be a big deal. And we're gonna get that cooking. Now, there's a rule in my house. Well, not really a rule. You know how like cats know when you Turn on a can opener, they're getting food. Our dog in here, cheese wrapping. And it doesn't matter what kind of cheese it is, as soon as she hears this, she ends up showing up in the kitchen. Now for eight eggs, I do about six slices of cheese. And again, you don't have to use cheese. You can use, you can use soy cheese. You can just have it plain. You don't have to have the cheese in there. We're gonna let all this my cheese was frozen, by the way, so we're gonna let this warm here. Alrighty. I'm gonna let this melt with the rice cooking and should be done here in just a couple of minutes. Okay, maybe more than five minutes because we're doing the bacon also. Bacon is done. Nice, beautiful, crisp bacon. We're gonna turn the oven off. The rice is done. If I can get the oven off. Okay, there we go, hot. Okay, the cheese is melted. You can see the beautiful, wonderful rice, nice and sticky. And you can use brown rice in this. And then we just mix it all together. Like I said, this is a home family recipe. You can make it your own by adding anything you'd like to it. But this is a great meal any time of day. All right. Well, now I'm going to serve it up to the kids and let them tell you what they really think. <laughs> Why? It's like I'm recording you while you're eating. So, um, you going to take a minute to tell me what you think, or are you just going to sit there and eat? It's going to be delicious. 
And my next video is going to do with uh, apples. We were given a whole bunch of apples, so I'm going to make a couple different dishes for friends that have allergies as my daughter scours down the bacon. And we got some bananas here. I'm going to be making some banana bread also. So today is going to be a busy day in the kitchen. Well, when you burn, you learn.